It was the last piece that I worked on for the album. And I had just purchased a Roland Octopad, a MIDI control device with six precious sensitive pads that can be used to control a synthesizer or music computer, which I wanted to use for the piece. So I connected the Octopad to the Synclavier and set up a sample drum patch. Playing the octopad with drumsticks, I first recorded my ideas for the drum part, playing only the big snare and my hat. Then I edited and lengthened the parts from the computer terminal. This is a special kind of flexibility and a powerfully creative technique that was never possible in the tape recording studio. After that, I overdubbed the cross rhythms of the tom with the octopus. A bit more editing and the drum part was complete for the head section of the piece. I called up a patch on the synclavier that consisted of a sample of a Fender bass. Then I spent about three hours trying to play my ideas for the bass part over the drum tracks. After a bit of computer editing, I was done. I made a cassette of the combined bass and drum parts and listened to them as I drove around in my car for the next few days. I looked at the score of what I had done on the CRT screen of the computer and finally I knew the music very, very well. I was ready to record the guitar part. Which I wanted to sound like a bunch of horns and a piano. I created a patch that combined some great sax and some clarinet samples that Frank Zappa had given to me with the sound of a Roland MKS-20 piano module. Using the guitar interface to control the horn and piano patch, I recorded many takes of the guitar part into the synclavier. Synclavier? 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 After four or five hours of many attempts, I discovered, as often seems to be the case, that the first take, when I was checking the system, was the best and the most relaxed. No editing was required. Then, the piece was complete and about uh, 1.15 in duration. This was only the head of the entire piece. back to the computer terminal. I created a six-bar drum intro by copying and moving some guitar parts around. I made a middle section for solos with only bass and drums, and I made the head repeat at the end of the song. I added some cymbal crashes at musically appropriate moments, deciding that I wanted the head to be different the second time around and deleted some phrases from it, planning to add real guitar there later on. I thought it might be nice to have a trombone solo in the middle that would trade with my real electric guitar. So I recorded some trombone with the guitar interface using a slide to get more trombone-esque phrasing and ornamentation. The synclavier portion of Sugagaki was done. Moving 
into a mixing mode. I divided the parts of the piece up through the Synclavier multi-channel outputs and set up appropriate equalizations in reverb from a, a uh, mixing board to get a good final mix sound. I plugged my Strat into a fuzz and threw a direct box right into the board. And I set up a good guitar sound. Turned on the two-track mix. Real to real master recorder, recorder the mix of the piece of light. After about three more hours of takes, it became obvious that once again the first take was the best. And the piece and the album were finished.